Is Sparta a vassal or something? Are you not interested in the land? Uh, no, Sparta is mine. I own it. Um, Messenia, we will attack as soon as the truce is up. We had attacked them before, and it was going well, but then we got white pieced. So, yeah, that happened. Uh, Alright, more trade routes from the capital. Let us try and get some more cloth. Colchis? Yeah, Colchis seems fine. Yeah, it's it's annoying that these guys are going to march down. There's two forts, three forts in Adrissia. That's annoying. Alright, what? Are you, where are you going? No, 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 you don't... Wait, where are you moving to? No, I want you here. And we're at war with Trevalia. Hopefully he doesn't get full annex, otherwise we're screwed. Alright, let's march. We could call in Etruria. I don't think we need to. Hey, just arrived. Am I playing with Macedonia? Um, what flag is this? We started as uh, the Antigonid Kingdom and then formed Macedon uh, through a mission. And as that, I got to choose this flag. I didn't have to, but it was the sexiest flag I've seen in a, quite a while, so I took it. It's great. Hey, that's nice. Integrated culture happiness plus 5% is very nice indeed. Uh, as is 6 stability for 18 ducats. Beautiful. Get these sieges done. Hey, Demo Damas the Explorer has arrived. Amidst the raging weather and violent seas, a patchwork ship of exotic craftsmen has pulled into the port of Amphipolis. Aboard, a crew hailing from far-flung lands, various gaze out upon our modest harbour with poorly disguised wonder. After a brief delay, a lone sailor emerges and speaks in perfect Macedonian, espousing his gratitude that we let him dock without trouble or suspicion. He gives his name as Demodemas of Miletus, an explorer of some experience who was sent forth by his liege to discover more about the world at large. He regales us with tales of Scythia and Bactria, as well as mysterious lands far to the east, and he begs our leave to restock his small fleet with galley slaves in return for a bauble in which he claims was revered as holy by a forgotten people. So we get... Uh, what do we get? Ancient Fertility Figurine. I'm definitely going to take that. A most welcome offer. Yes, yes. So this fertility figurine, could we pop it in one of our things? We could pop it in... Where is this? Hephaestia, right there. It's already got pop growth. The fertility figurine is more pop growth. I should kind of want that for my capital, eventually. Uh, and this is Paphos in Cis, uh, Cyprus. So we could pop it there instead. we got quite a lot of things. Let's give him a statue of Aphrodite. Why not? And uh, this one will give... Frame and output. No, that's trash. Integrated culture happiness. The bones of Pelops. The Thessalonica, we're soon going to be able to afford the final building. Oh, and you need another building now as well. All right, you can have extra civ level from uh, Granary. I did not know that. That's nice. I'll take that then. As expected, we've got Adrissians here. But we could raise... I think it's like 5,000? No, it's not. It's definitely not that. Uh, we could raise some troops there and have you immediately march upon there to save them. Oh, he doesn't want to join? He does, maybe. Tribalia has sacked the holy site of Malvencia. Fuck! That was in my land. You bastard. If we can find him in um, Lysimachia, that would be great. Apparently I've got a fairly decent chance of beating them as well. Like, Rome's getting wrecked here. I don't know what his deal is. 
I mean, we did see him having a 18k legion or a levy marching around. Oh, new ruler. All right, we have died from a venereal disease called cancer. Big Fs. Okay, so our ruler is trash. That's not great. Um, however, if I recall correctly, our wife... Has the blood of the Argeat, so our kids, which we will now start having, correct? We'll start having some kids, and they will have the blood of the Argeats. Fantastic. Although, why you're called Antignid, I don't know. Your parents were... You were an Antignid? Why were you an Antignid? Your dad was an Antipatrid. The Antipatrid. No idea. Did we maybe accept you into our family? That seems likely, actually. Yeah, we'll be cool. Need to get a great education. Yeah, it. I don't really know. There needs to be some way to um, say when you get an education. Like, it needs to be a pop up saying, oh, by the way, your kid's now totally eligible to get, like, educated and stuff. I want that. That'd be nice. Got some pretender support, but it kind of expected, let's be honest. If we just siege this, we can then get you gone as well. 85% oratory research progress for negative 35 research points for 10 years. Uh, fine. That does give us another invention. There was something I was aiming for. I think it might have been research efficiency. Although we're not high enough to make use of it right now. So maybe it wasn't that. Was it something in here? Weren't we working on getting... The temple? No, we have the temple. Don't we? Do we have the temple yet? We do not have the Grand Temple. Okay, so maybe that was what we were working towards. Where is it? I could have sworn it was here. That's a great wonder effect, though. There's Grand Temples. Grand Temple. Oh, there it is. No, it isn't. How do you build the Grand Temple? Your game seems to have funked up and merged your dynasty with the Antipatrids somehow. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Not state burials. Where is? Where do you build this? I know we found it before. I thought it was here. I thought that was it. Oh shit, no, there it is. We've unlocked the great temple. We've already done it. We've already got the ability to build the temple. We just don't have it because we don't have the money. There are too few people in Pella for another building. That, that too. That, that too, yes. Maybe do I want to cancel Granary and build that instead? I kind of do. State religion, happiness, civ level, pop conversion speed, territory... Uh, I kind of want that, don't I? Um... Well, if I don't need that, is there something in military that we're working towards? Sapping would be nice. In oratory, are we working towards anything? In bookbinding, but can't make use of it. Quick march would be nice. Start working towards quick march. Hmm, maybe we start moving towards Quick March. Yeah, let's do that. Yes. Okie dokes. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Alright, this, we can now sue you for peace, right? Media. Why can I not sue Media for peace? Because they've sieged me, the bastards. 2,000 there, and we'll grab the 7,000 from there. 
Where is the capital of this region? It was all the way up in the north, right? Yeah, there. If you get to there, I'll be happy. And you could march up with them. See, this is occupied by the other guy. Alright, you are going to go there. You are going to go and kill something. Hopefully. That could work. Wish we could have a start date where we could play as Alexander the Fourth, akin to Pyrrhus. Um, I well, I know that we're never going to get that. Um, earlier start dates have they? We're not going to get that. I I asked about that, about like other start dates when I interviewed Arheo. Um, I can see the timeline getting extended, uh, but not brought back. Where is Aggregentum? Right, I kind of don't like that you have that. Maybe I'll try and swap you for something else. Let's go with Aphrodite again. Because money is nice. We can probably piece you out. I can. You can be pieced out once I've taken both of these sieges. Um... Guess you can take over here, actually. As soon as all that's de-sieged, then we're going to be golden. Interesting little combat that we got going on here. Apparently my levies are really, really good. Um, hey, really like your content. Uh, can you give me a little advice? How do you beat Rome? Uh, I started a campaign with the Ligurian tribe in northern Italy, and by the time I managed to conquer northern Italy around 475, Italy, the Romans, or oh, conquer northern Italy around 475, the Romans came knocking with an army vastly superior in numbers and quality. Now I have to restart, but wait, what do I do? Um, when it comes to Rome, they are ridiculously strong. Um, I'm not sure if there is any surefire, like, if you do this, then you're going to be fine. Because that's not realistic. Um, I think it's just a lot of little things that you can possibly change. Um, try and get more allies. Uh, oh, wow. Roman Revolt. Um, try and get more allies. Um, now that ally getting allies or getting opinion up costs gold instead of political influence, it's probably a bit more feasible to get more allies. Um, get yourself in a defensive league. Um, so if Rome comes knocking, then there's a bunch of people um, to help out. Save up some money and get some mercenaries. Um, what else could be done? Ally Carthage. Yeah, Ally Carthage, that's generally a good idea. Um, especially for Etruria. Etruria is... If you're playing as Etruria, then Carthage is like prime ally number one that you should always try and go for because they're really good at it. Um... Yeah, improving relations and buying gifts to try and get more allies is, is generally going to be a good idea. Also, be lucky. <laughs> um, when when Rome invades Carthage and they land troops in, in Africa, that's when you're time to strike it. So as soon as you see the, uh, the boats leave um, leave Italy and you know you see some sieges start in Carthage then you attack because uh, they have a, a bit of a rough time bringing their troops home and especially they can't raise new levies because their levies are already raised and over here uh, that's when you really want to go and strike um, that's that's the reason that Rome's struggling so much here is because simply they uh, they raised troops brought them to Carthage and then had some issues. Um, couldn't They couldn't disband the armies that they had down here. They had no ability to get home. Um, so yeah, that's why they're struggling so much. Also, this flag is like the best looking flag in the game. I love it. The red, red Roman insignia on a white background is beautiful. I love it. Uh, we need a Moesian governor. Mm, I kind of, I, I really prefer the finesse up here. Your loyalty is good, your corruption's low. Yeah, you'd make a really good governor. 
Um, don't really care too much about your martial skill at this point. In my Syracuse game, I only survived thanks to a massive navy and having a fleet always based in the strait no matter what. Yeah, no, that, that's a good idea as well. Taurinia gains 50 opinion of me. Oh, thank you for the popularity. On the other hand, I could only expand to islands. Um, oh, right. As as Sicily, if you unite like the entire island, honestly, your next conquest should probably be Sardinia so that you can get the iron here. Because there's no iron in Sicily, so getting heavy infantry, very, very difficult. So that's always my second conquest. Alternatively, you can go uh, pretty early into Crete to get the iron in uh, Polyrenia. Uh, but there's only one source of iron um, in all of Crete, so you would need to really boost the amount of slaves here. Um, plus it's a city, so you'd have to disband or get rid of the city, uh, makes people un upset. Also, it's outside of your conquest range, so you'd have to vassalize them first and then integrate them. This is just easier. It's, you're fighting someone harder, but if you've already pushed them off the island, you might as well. Uh, you go up here now. Sardinian Crete was what I did. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good strategy. Food's looking good. Go over here and help out with the siege as well. Wait, there's an extra two thousand dudes here. You do not need to be there. You're about to starve. going to be a good conquest. Got one disloyal guy, he's my tribune. You have an office. Oh, tribune is army commander. Yeah, but you're not in control of the army, so I don't care. Unfortunately, this is going to really tank my army quality. It's not my army quality, my research quality. I have a daughter... Word has reached us that Antipatris Antigonid has been spreading uh, dangerous rhetoric that calls into question Arhydus Antigonid's right to rule. Challenging Arhydus on the grounds of birth, efficacy, and morality, Antipatris could cause widespread dissent if these claims are not dealt with. Also, that's an interesting name. Antipatris Antipatr uh, Antigonid. Like, pretty sure you're never an Antigonid. I think I have... I must have just accepted you into my family and change your name. That must have been what it is. That might have been what fucked everything up. I could ignore his wild claims or publicly repudiate his lies. He'd lose loyalty. He'd still be loyal, though. He'd still be loyal. Who cares? Also, you're an archer grammatius. There you go. I have free hands. I don't care. So, I have a daughter. Isn't that my second kid now? No, it's my first. Antigonus and Argead. Very nice. I really wish that there were no restrictions placed on um, bloodlines. I really, really wish that because bloodlines are really cool, right? They're they're fun to play with, um, and I just kind of it's a little bit disappointing that I can't collect them all like if it was up to me and i was playing as as whatever whichever daidoki i'd be going around trying to get every single um different uh what do we call it? every different bloodline uh, i'd have the blood of the eye kids uh from paris i'd marry into his dynasty to get that I'd have Antigonids, as I started with, the Antipatrids, the Argeads, Lysimachids, uh, Seleucids, the Ptolemics. I would try and collect all of them. I'd love that. Uh, there's a Bloodlines mod that adds a ton of new Bloodlines and makes them patrilineal and matrilineal. Has been updated. Um, I, don't, I won't do it for this campaign, but it's something that I will do in another campaign. Um, maybe, uh, who would I start as? I'd obviously have to start as one of the Daidoki, right? Basically just try and collect as many bloodlines as possible. That would be really cool. 
Etruria is at war with Veneto and Carnia and needs my help. I will... I really don't want to accept, but I am, I'm, I'm kind of obligated to. You can be pieced out now. Except you have sieged me, you bastard. I will let him fight just so he stops sieging. Ah, oh, actually we don't need to. But we can sue you for peace and stop that battle. 20 aggressive expansion. Big ouch. Get rid of some of that. That makes my borders look oh, way sexier. Also, you can be pieced out. Nice. Look at them sexy borders. It's looking good. It's looking very, very good. We just need this, and we have won the war now. Uh, you probably don't need to march over there. You can go sit in Lissamachia for a bit. Forty-two percent on that, and we are done. I suppose I could bring you, bring to you to Abdera. Let's get the boats. I also want to colonize this, so I need. Less than eight? Okay, so they've reduced the colony requirement from ten to eight. Okay, so where here has dominant Macedonian? Quite a few players, actually. You have dominant Macedonian. Uh, so let's move two Macedonians here. Now we can colonize the island. Was that not a mission? Maybe it was a mission in the previous... Maybe it was a mission in the previous one. Yeah, it must have been. Okay, well that's done. That's nice. Beautiful. I like it. Rome's looking pretty strong up here again. Um, hey, Labber, really enjoyed your YouTube vids of the Antigonids. Hot tip for you, if they haven't fixed it yet, you can ignore the event... Fire war with Macedon by going to war with an ally of his like Thrace. Uh, this is that campaign. As you're, that you're watching right now, this is that campaign. So I would say a little too late for that one. Um, good for the future though. Thank you. Uh, Papyrus can't get any extra yet. Stone. Stone from the Roman Revolt. Uh, let's get it from Carthage. Bill cost negative 10% is very, very handy. Thessalonica can have itself a library. You've got all of your buildings. As soon as that's done, that's a mission complete. You're going to suicide. No, you're not. Is it because you were just completely trash at Marshall? Probably why you're not able to just stack wipe him. I want to be the one to stack wipe him. Hey, Demodemus has come back. Across hill and dale, valley and brook, the expert explorer Dedemus... Sorry, Demo Damas of Miletus, which I will argue uh, probably shouldn't be too exotic for me because it's right here and it's owned by a vassal of mine. So, just putting that out there. Um, his monster again made it to way, his way to our border. The haggard Macedonian looks every bit uh, the worn traveller, clad in fraying cloak and threadbare sandals, yet the twinkle in his eye tells of a wealth of knowledge behind his craggy face. Asking only for a small sum this time uh, for his continued travels, Demodemus offers us a beautiful gilt candlestick, which he claims to have sourced from a mausoleum belonging to a fallen king beyond the Indus. So 333 ducats and I get whale fat candles. Uh, sure. Negative one unrest for the, uh, for the provincial effect is actually fairly decent for whale fat candles. Oh, but 300 gold, man. I could just take you. You're pretty fucking good. 300 gold is fucking lots, though. I can't afford 300 gold. He's a primary heir of who? Of the rebels. Do I send him away? 
I'm going to take it because I know he brings me a third um, effect. I know he does, so I'm going to just take... Oh. Egypt just declared war on me. Probably because I um, went into debt and he decided, Ah, now is the time to strike. Well, shit. Got one fort there. Is that a fort I want to keep? Probably. We've got a ton of forts here. That doesn't need to be a fort. That doesn't need to be any kind of fort. That doesn't need to be a fort. Uh, is there any tribal settlements? Oh, I can't even click it to delete them. That's annoying. There's a slave estate that we can get rid of. What is that? Provincial legation, I'll get rid of that. Farms, I don't want to get rid of. Barracks, I'll get rid of it for now. I just want to get myself out of debt by deleting buildings. There's a mine. Keep the mine. Tribal settlement. Get out of here. Get rid of the slave estate. Now we're out of, we're out of debt. We defeated the barbarians, finally. And you can be peaced out. Congratulations and also fantastic, yay.